Three prominent Hong Kong activists, Joshua Wong, Agnes Chow and Ivan Lam, have been remanded in custody. They've all pled guilty to charges relating to the siege of police headquarters in June last year. These three are members of Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement, which has faltered since a new national security law gave the government sweeping powers to suppress the opposition. With more from Hong Kong, here's Danny Vincent. The three young activists arrived at court defiant, using their platform to call for support for their cause. They planned to plead guilty to the charges. They were prepared to be remanded in custody. Perhaps the authorities wish me to stay in prison, but I'm persuaded that neither prison bars, nor election bans, nor any other arbitrary power will stop us from activism. What we are doing now is to explain the value of freedom to the world through our compassion to whom we love, so much that we are willing to sacrifice the freedom of our own. Joshua Wong, Agnes Chow and Ivan Lam face potential prison for their alleged involvement in last year's anti-government protests. Activists say they face political persecution. The authorities say protesters must pay the price for their crimes. Joshua Wong is one of the most prominent activists in Hong Kong. He became the face of the 2014 umbrella protest movement as a teenager. He was in prison facing other charges at the start of the 2019 protest, when thousands demonstrated for greater political freedoms. He was released and once again took to the streets. The three are facing charges for inciting, organising and attending an unlawful assembly, charges that could lead to five years in prison. The pro-democracy camp say that young Hong Kong activists are under attack. There have been more than 10,000 demonstration-related arrests since last year. A new national security law has all but silenced the street protest movement. The government says it's helped to restore stability. Activists say the legal system is silencing the political opposition. Danny Vincent, BBC News, Hong Kong.